We're headed back to that breaking news out of Greenwood County tonight where deputies are searching for a person of interest in that shooting investigation. We now know three people are dead in the shooting and one person was hurt. 7 News is Olivia Parsons joining us live now from the scene there in the area of Hetty Road. Olivia, we understand there's an active search going on there. Currently, there are choppers in the sky. That's with South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. They're assisting the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office in this search right now. I'm going to step off the scene to give you a better look. We just got here moments ago. This is off of US 25 at Hetty Road. Uh, the address that we have in place is a house that's not. You can't see it right now, but of course, this is as close as we're able to show you to the scene. Again, that information just coming into the newsroom. Three people have died as a result of that shooting. One person injured. This it's all happened earlier this afternoon around three. That's when deputies responded to the scene here at Hetty Road in Greenwood. Now, this is the person that investigators are now searching for 36 year old Jeffrey David Powell. They say if you do see him, you're not asked to approach him right now. We're still working to learn. They're not sure if he got away on foot or by car, but investigators say the motive is still unknown at this time. I spoke with the sheriff's office moments ago. They tell me that canines are also on the scene looking for Powell and they've got that chopper in the sky. We did uh, run a background check on Powell. We see that in 2013 he was charged with domestic violence. First offense, he pled guilty and was sentenced to 30 days. And then again in 2014, he was charged with domestic violence. Second offense, pled guilty and sentenced to 80 days with that. So we are on scene still working to get a lot of those details. And of course, once we have those for you, we'll be sure to get you to them on air and online at WSPA.com. But for now, reporting here in Greenwood, Olivia Parsons, 7 News. All right, Olivia, appreciate it.